Hey, this is Jay from Encodian. So we're going to have a look at uh, another utility action today and we're going to look at format date. So I've got a really simple flow set up just to show you how this works. Um, I've got a manually trigger, uh, sorry, a manual trigger. Uh, and on that trigger, I'm going to ask the user to specify a selected date. And what I'm going to do is simply format that date to a specified configuration or specified format even. And then I'm going to send an email just to show what that formatted date looks like. Uh, so the whole purpose of this is just to sort of understand how this utility action works. So click new step and I'm going to choose the encoding connector. Uh, standard connector, of course. Uh, I'm going to click see more, top right, and again, because I know all the utility actions are right down the bottom. Obviously, we've got a fair few actions now. I'm going to select the format date uh, action, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the selected date property from the trigger action into the format date value. So let's just have a quick look for that. Let's just do that. Selected date, there we go. Now what I need to do, I need to pass in a format for um, how I want this date to appear. So if I have a look um, on the support portal, on the documentation, and you can find that by, if you look on here, on the help, you'll be able to pick up the URL that you need to visit to, to check this out. So let's just do that. And you'll notice here, there's a link to the date time format guide, so I can click onto this and it will show you all the different, this is a Microsoft article, so it's a standards based thing that we've adopted and you'll see that we can see if I, if I put a D in, that's going to be uh, the day of the month, so 1 to 31, um, I can see the time values, so on and so forth. So I'm going to put in, I believe, let's have a quick look, I'm going to try D, uh, sorry, DDD, which is the day of the week, so either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I'm going to say D, which is the number. MMM, which is the day of, the, well, so, so it's the name of the month, so that would be like, you know, August, September, October, so on and so forth. And then I can do this, which would be the year. Okay, so the next thing that we could configure is the culture name. Again, if you refer to the documentation, there's a link to the culture's name article and it tells you all the different cultures in terms of which we support and that you can process the request. And so this just assures that your date time value is treated as it's such. I'll leave it as the, de the default um, US uh, value or US culture. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly add, send an email and that will do fine for me. Send an email notification. And I'm just going to put in select a date, and again, you selected. Now, the um, the formatted date value provided by the format date uh, action is in the result property here. Um, so I can literally just pop that in here, and I will get back uh, the formatted date, and we can quickly test this. We'll just do a manual trigger with flow. And I'm going to select a date. So let's just choose one and I click run flow, click done and we're going to see that value. So an email would have been sent to me saying the selected date and you can see that I selected the date of Wednesday 30th of August 2023. So I hope that provides a real good example um, of how you can use the format date action. Of course you can pass any date time value into, into the action and it will format it pertaining to the configuration that you provided. Um, if you need any support, any guidance, you can email us at support at or visit the support portal, which is support.encodian.com.